monde! Welcome back to the Unintentionally Frenchified channel. I have lived in France for almost 10 years in October, which is crazy, and I've lived in small towns and medium towns, and for the past seven years I've lived in the largest city in France, Paris. Now there are so many things to love about Paris, but one of the things that I don't love is the Parisian attitude. When people get this Parisian attitude, it usually rubs me the wrong way. But the horror of the story is that sometimes I actually do it. What's funny is in Paris, only like 25% of the people living here were actually born in Paris and grew up in Paris. So it's crazy that we all kind of start to get this Parisian attitude. And a lot of it are things I wouldn't actually recommend getting. So today's video is really going to focus on the six habits or characteristics of a Parisian that you absolutely should not pick up. Before we jump into the video, quick reminder to all of my viewers out there that are learning a second language. The Ngoda Marathon kicks off July 1st and you still have time to sign up. You've got until tomorrow. So if you need all the details, I talked about it in this video, so go check it out. I've left some links in the description. You still have time to sign up, so hop, hop, hop to it. Otherwise, say parti. 80% of Parisians are proud to live in Paris, okay? I get it, guys. Paris is beautiful. There's so many things to love. The history, the culture, all the people, all the beautiful streets. But, I mean, there's a lot of things not to love either. Let's talk about the smell sometimes, the dirty streets. How about how expensive it is to live here? The gerbil-sized cages we live in? I mean, there are a lot of things not to love about Paris, too. Parisians have this attitude that Paris is the best place to live in the world and like turn their noses down at any other place besides Paris because how could you possibly live outside of Paris? And those Frenchies are kind of laughing all the way to the beach by their house or the mountains by their place or I don't know the cheap produce. There's lots of great advantages to living outside of Paris too. So lose the I'm too cool for the Provence attitude except for the month of August when everybody flocks to the rest of France and remember that it's got its ups and downs, Paris, just like every other place. Stranger danger. Paris can turn even the most energetic, smiley, happy person into a total meanie. It's like people get on public transportation in the morning and they're having a contest of who can have like the best resting bitch face. Like for me, there's a difference between being on the bus and going and being on the bus and being like this. I totally understand if you don't want to socialize with the rando sitting next to you at like 8.30 in the morning, but nothing's stopping you from like a little half smile or a neutral expression and a little bonjour when you sit down. I mean, the French love you saying bonjour in any instance, except when it comes to public transportation. There's something very weird about it that you should explain to me in the comments below because nobody gets on the public transportation like the metro and screams out, bonjour! <laughs> but I mean, maybe we should. Maybe we'd all be in a better mood. Parisians are just constantly rushed all the time. And what's funny is like, yes, I get it. There's traffic. I get public transportation breaks down. I get things happen. But it's like we never plan on a regular basis for that kind of stuff to go down. So then what happens? Well, everybody's running around super stressed out. And then you're willing to push over an 80-year-old granny in order to make the next metro. Or even, no problem, plowing down a mom and her baby if they're not walking fast enough on the sidewalk. Why aren't people just taking a little bit more time? Give yourself an extra 10 minutes and it might not be that big of a deal if somebody's walking a little slower in front of you. The next time you're elbowing a senior citizen so that you can get somewhere faster, you're being way too Parisian and you need to cut it out. There is some kind of crazy dress code that people follow in Paris. And honestly, trends take over big cities everywhere. I get it. But there's something specific about Paris and everybody will admit this, that trends seem to take over everywhere. So in Paris, you will find people wearing black pants, a white shirt, some white Stan Smiths. It's kind of like a uniform where everybody wears white and black. I'm guilty of this. I'm literally filming this video in white and a black headband, okay? I get it. But we've got to start embracing color. What happened to the color? Please don't get sucked into the idea that we have to see the world wearing black and white all the time. Go a little crazy, and I'm not saying navy blue and gray. Throw some pink in, get some purple. 
If you catch yourself with no color in your wardrobe, you're officially too Parisian. Commuters rage here is so intense. I'm not just talking about cars. Parisians in general, whether they're walking, whether they're biking, whether they're on an electric scooter, whether they're on a car, a motorcycle, they forget the rules of the road, they create their own rules, and then the best thing is even when they break like the most simple basic rules that they know exist, it's still someone else's fault. Nuh-uh, I am not going to admit I made a mistake this morning. Funny thing is, I'm pretty sure in France it's illegal to honk your horn just to honk your horn. You have to be in danger. So I'm often wondering, like, do people feel that wasting their time in the morning is dangerous for them? Because the amount of honking that happens outside while people are commuting to work is intense. Guys, relax, be more patient. You live in a city with millions of people and sometimes you make a mistake. One of the best parts of living in France is the amazing benefits, the reasonable working hours, all of the vacation, and this mentality that we don't live to work, but we work to live. Now, I'm not saying that you'll never do more than a 35 hour work week in France or that you might not put in a little bit of overtime, but apparently there's a trend on the rise that specifically in Paris, Parisians are not taking all of their vacation days anymore. What? If you catch yourself thinking that you are so important to your job that you are not gonna take all of your allotted vacation time, you are going Parisian crazy. Vacation is sacred in France. Please don't do this. All right guys, that's a wrap. So what did you think? Was that totally Parisian for you? Not at all. Things I missed, what did you agree with, didn't agree with? I'll see you all in the comments below and I'll also see you next Wednesday. Bisous.